Hi and welcome to the first vlog since I retired. So I'm uh, recording this on the second full day of my official retirement. We had our circuit farewell service via Zoom on uh, Sunday afternoon and then we did our final little bit of packing and headed up Doncaster, arrived just in time for a, uh, a Zoom chat with our children and their spouses and that was a, a lovely time and then very tired we headed off to bed yesterday uh, Monday uh, was uh, spent by Sue mainly in bed uh, I shouldn't say that should I but yeah it's time for a rest but uh, I managed to get quite a few boxes of books unpacked because I want to get try and get my study uh, sorted out it's still in uh, the process of of doing so. In fact, uh, at three o'clock this morning I woke up and found it really difficult to go back to sleep. So I decided to get my dressing gown on and go and do a bit more sorting out in the study. I had to actually rearrange the furniture slightly because one of the bookcases uh, has a, 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 shell, a cupboard door that opens up that way. And when I put the desk that I want, into that space, the door will open properly, so I had to kind of move around and rearrange. So anyway, it's coming together slowly, but uh, you can see signs of improvement. And when the uh, bin men come tomorrow to collect the recycle bin, it'll be lots of cardboard boxes in there. So that's a sign that we're actually at least doing something. Although having said that, on the first, on the Monday morning, when I got up and, and looked for some bread for the toast, I could find no bread. Well, I could find bread, but it was shortbread, so I had shortbread for my breakfast, which I don't object to. But it's probably not a good thing to uh, make as a habit. So uh, we're getting there, and uh, I don't know if you can see over on that side is uh, some of the many cards we've received uh, from our friends both in Leicester and here in Doncaster. So we're so grateful. Every one of you just taking time to write uh, and send us a card or give us a gift or send you good wishes. Every one of you really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, please do continue to pray for us as we uh, settle into a new area. Well, this part of Doncaster 2 is new to us, but obviously we know the town to some extent. So where do we go from here? What's the future hold? Well, just uh, the next door, there used to be a, a bungalow, but that was sold some time ago. The bungalow is completely knocked down and now the, uh, the builders are building uh, four properties on that area. In fact, uh, the previous owners to this property sold off part of the garden, to, which is now incorporated in the building plot. So our garden is much reduced to what it was. But anyway, we live with that. We are looking forward to living here. But uh, the point I wanted to make was that when I looked out of the window this morning, there was outside a cement lorry, uh, presumably delivering cement uh, for the building plot next door. And uh, you can see, as you, I'm sure you know, these the big drums they have at the back of the lorry it was going round and round. And uh, that kind of reminded me that in our life and in our Christian lives, we can't stay still because if the cement lorry, I presume, if it had just not been going round, the cement would begin to solidify and then become useless. So we need to uh, keep active in a sense of uh, being open to where God might be leading, leading us. And uh, I just want to show you a little badge that I came across when I was sorting out uh, uh, the property back in Leicester. And it's a badge from Easter People, 2004. Easter People was an annual Christian gathering uh, organised by uh, Rob Frost and uh, the theme for 2004's Easter People, some of you may have been, was uh, Destiny. Underneath the big uh, lettering of Destiny it says finding your place in God's promises. So uh, and indeed one of our friends wrote on the card that she sent to us that wonderful verse from Jeremiah 29. God says I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And uh, just though we are totally unclear about uh, you know, what God is going to be calling us into, we know that he has a plan and a purpose for us. 
and a card that arrived this morning uh, from one of our friends here in Doncaster, uh, Jean, who was a member and is a member, I guess, of one of the churches I served when I was here in Doncaster. A lovely uh, card, unusual really, and uh, there you go. It's a, a uh, one designed just for me. Happy retirement, Steve Clark. And then it says this, retirement is a journey, not a destination. Retirement is a journey, not a destination. And that is, of course, uh, true for all of us. Even when we come to the end of one particular phase of life or one project, there's always something new. God is always calling us to move on, to look to the future, to discover our destiny, discover our plan and purpose in his hands. So uh, Sue and I are really looking forward to all that lies ahead. And uh, we've no idea what that will be, but we're trusting in God. And uh, we pray God's blessing upon you as you too uh, seek to discern God's plan and purpose for your life. Uh, what's God got in store for you? It's exciting to live the life of following Jesus. So uh, Retirement is a journey, not a destination. Life is a journey, not a destination. We know we're safe in God's hands if we keep following him. So God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope that uh, not every day, but from time to time, at least twice a week, I guess, I will be uh, posting uh, vlogs. So I really appreciate you listening. Thank you and God bless you.